Hey guys, it's Truth here. I hope you've all had a fantastic day, a fantastic week. I hope you guys are all doing well. Just before the video starts here, um, I'd really appreciate a like and a subscribe as well as a bell. Um, just because I'm trying to hit 600 subscribers by the end of the month and it would be massively appreciated if you'd just give me a subscribe. Thank you guys. Enjoy the video. To me, it's very clear why all fallouts have been set in America. And that's because, simply, America is a very recognisable country, and with over 80% of the Fallout community being Americans, it only makes sense to have places like New Vegas used as selling points to the series. Not only does this make Fallout sell extremely well, but it also gets away with some minor things, such as the extreme amount of guns and explosives and grenades seen in Fallout and in the American Fallouts. I believe it's a very well-known fact now that it's something like there are 10 guns for every one American, or something along those lines for America and in America, so it only makes sense that we can have this big apocalyptic shooty shooty bang bang set in America, as law wise of course it makes sense to why there's such a large access of guns, and it overall, I won't lie, makes the game funner. I mean, if you strip Fallout's guns away, you're left with a, uh, a sort of bad Dying Light 2, I suppose, or better Dying Light 2, depending on who you are, I, I don't know, I mean, you're just left with a Fallout Dying Light 2, pretty much. But for a long, long while now, I have been waiting to hear news about Fallout 5. Waiting and anticipating it. Just sitting and seeing if there's anything to do with it. But of course, nothing has come. So, in the meantime, I will continue to get hyped for other Fallout projects and other Fallout things. And I just wanted to talk about Fallouts in different countries today. Because I truly believe a Fallout set in another country that isn't America would be fantastic. So, we're going to go over some, I think, three or four countries that I've chosen for a Fallout 5 slash a New Vegas sort of spin-off Fallout for Bethesda to make, and I'm going to explain why I think there would be great candidates for a Fallout game. We have all heard, or if at least if you're in the Fallout community, you have definitely heard about Fallout London. Made by a large group of modders called, I believe their company name is Fallen, massive shout out to them, and uh, go check out Fallout London's trailers, they're all on YouTube, I um, should be playing some right now, just some little clips of Fallout London, it looks incredible. But what Fallout London is, is a mod for Fallout 4, which brings new factions and a whole new story with a London setting, and I think the United Kingdom would be a fantastic place to set a Fallout game. Now, my reasons behind this are a little bit shallow. My first biggest reason is because I am a British man. I'm going to send Cher Lloyd by Cher Lloyd or Rebecca G. Then. And don't forget all the trouble we got until. Why does somebody not know how to flush a toilet after they've had a shit? What do you mean? Well, it was fucking one of yes. Disgusting! And other than that, my reasons are shallow. But I do think there is a lot to uh, uh, Fallout London, per se. So, for example, I don't know where Fallout London would be set, uh, but, for example, the mod is set around about where Big Ben, the London Eye sort of location is. And this would be very cool, because not only could we establish many different factions, I think it would do a lot to show the overall lore and connections. And here's where I want to talk about the Brotherhood of Steel. The Brotherhood of Steel and Fallout are arguably the most coherent and most fleshed out uh, faction in the whole series. They've appeared in literally every Fallout, and they're very fleshed out at this point, and you could argue the same for the Enclave. I think we should definitely have a Brotherhood of Steel uh, faction in London and in other places around the world. I don't want some factions, obviously some factions like the Railroad, Minutemen, they'd stay in, um, of course, America, but I want to see an overall connectiveness to the rest of the world, to other parts of the world, maybe the Brotherhood. I believe it's confirmed in Fallout 4 that there were four or five Pridwins built, or something like that, maybe three, but wouldn't it be cool if their primary job was to go all around America securing different locations, and then one of them, instead of going all around America, was job was to go to England, one of America's closest allies, and try to see what was happening over there. 
I don't know, I just think this would be an extremely cool concept to see a Fallout sort of brotherhood interact with another faction. Perhaps there's a monarchist faction or something like that in uh, in Britain and maybe they got on well with the brotherhood. I feel like a Fallout London game could sell incredibly well in the UK especially. And overall, London's a very cool setting for a game, for an apocalyptic game. I just think it would do well. Uh, we would definitely have to refine our um, shank combat, I think, to really suit the roadmen of London. Uh, if you're American watching this, I apologise. You probably didn't understand anything of what I just said. That is, that's, uh, yeah, that's British slang for you. Well, go on, bro. Well, go on, you look a puss, you bitch. But anyway, I digress. I feel like it would be very cool to see different factions interacting and, and just an overall London setting. I think not only for the game would work, but for new enemies and different factions would be extremely cool. Now, the next one I want to talk about is definitely my favourite idea. This is definitely my favourite one, and it's setting a Fallout game in China. Now, I'm not really sure how the, the real-life Chinese government re would react to this, whether there'd be some backlash and some outroar of, like, a, a messed-out Hong Kong and stuff like that. I, I, I don't know. I, I really don't know. But I just think it would be incredibly cool. Now, the, my main reasons behind this is because, obviously, we know that the nuclear uh, uh, fallout was caused by China or America. Well, we know that it was them firing on each other. So I would think... I, I want to see, like, a... a China uh, fallout to really see how they're getting on like the other side of life We know how America's getting on in the Commonwealth and the Brotherhood and the Enclave are sort of the main leaders of the The front line of securing America. We know that there's smaller factions like the railroad We know that there's biggest factions like the Institute. We know there's Julia uh, I think Caesar's Legion control a couple states. Uh, we know stuff like that So we know that America's in a bit of a, a bit of a fucking shambles if I'm honest So I want to see how China's coping and also we could have some bad Badass factions in China, just some overall amazingly cool stuff and just amazing. Uh, uh, China's aesthetic would be incredibly cool. Of course, we would have to bend sort of gun rules here because otherwise it just wouldn't be fun. Uh, but I feel like you could come up with an in law excuse for why there's so many guns, stuff like that. Um, I would definitely love to see some remnants of a corrupt Chinese government or a dictatorship or something uh, mixed with, I don't know, maybe a libertarian or a freedom group in China that sort of rules half of it. I don't know, but Hong Kong would be my main setting for this because. It's an incredible city, like, it's it's huge as well, um, and I'd love to see some skyscrapers on just different levels that have been demolished and stuff like that. I, I feel like China would be a good setting. Now, my next setting is actually Russia. Um, now, I purely would go with Russia. Now, Russia's a bit of an odd one to me because, um, you know, you, you'd... You'd like to say, you know, Russia, it's it's just the exact same, but uh, probably more people on vodka in, in the full hell. But I don't know, you could do a lot with, like, Moscow, I feel. I know I'm going through all the capitals here, but... You know, this is what I mean. Fallout clearly look at stuff like New Vegas and and the Commonwealth stuff like that. Really, like places that are very recognisable. They hop on that and they make like massive uh, games out of those. So I'm just trying to think here if it would sell well. I feel like it would sell very well to have a game set in Moscow, in London, in Hong Kong. You know, these are all um, cities and countries that everyone knows, everyone's aware of. Um, everyone wants to go to or doesn't want to go to for various various reasons. Um, I wouldn't want to go to London if I was an outsider either. But overall, I feel like these big names would sell very well. Also, Moscow would be very cool. I'd like to see some sort of like, sort of like Soviet Union sort of faction. I don't know, something like that. I'd like to see some meme factions. I know that uh, New Vegas had an Elvis Presley faction. I have not played New Vegas. I've just heard about this. Uh, I don't know if it's 100% true, but apparently <laughs> there's an Elvis Presley faction in um, New Vegas, and that would be hilarious to have something like that, like a uh, I need, we need more comedy factions in Fallout, we don't get enough like funny ones, uh, there's a lot of dumb ones like Children of Atom and stuff like that, but we need lots more, just more fleshed out, just completely insane factions, you know, I, I, I think that would be, that would be quite funny. But yeah, I feel like that would, um, that would really, you know, spice up the game, Fallout Russia, Fallout Moscow, a bit of a stretch, but overall I, I feel like it could sell well and I feel like it could work pretty well. 
Okay, the the next the next um <laughs> the next one is completely my just fantasy and it's just completely completely I I ideally for me and no one else. So I I know this makes no sense, but I would have a spin-off company like um like New Vegas was made. I would have a spin spin-off company make a Fallout Greenland. Okay? Now this sounds absolutely insane. I would set it in Greenland's capital. And I think it would be sick. Now, my, my pure reasons for this, my main reasons for this, yeah, is obviously you couldn't have any massive factions because Greenland's population, I think it's like 600,000, like probably not even that. Like, it's a, it's a very small country, um, but it's a beautiful country. I, I love the scenery of it. Um, I'm saying this like I'm not talking about Greenland in a nuclear apocalypse. But anyway, I would love that because I'd love to see snowy areas and like icy cliffs. Like in a, we've never seen a fallout, and I know this sounds dumb. Well, it's a nuclear bomb. Of course, you don't want to see a fallout with snow. I just feel like that would be very cool. And you could argue Russia would do that, but Moscow, Moscow's not too snowy, I don't believe. Like, it, it's more modern. So I, I think. Uh, a Greenland would be incredibly cool. I did, did, are we not like? Come on, like you got to follow my wavelength here. Greenland as a Fallout would be cool. Like think of the different snow factions. You could have like the Abominable Snowman stuff. Like that. I don't know. It's a stretch, but uh, I feel like gameplay mechanics could work very well here. Well, there you have it. That is my ideas for a future Fallout game. Um, if you like this video, please leave a like and consider subscribing. I'm trying to get 600 subscribers by the end of the um the month so it would be appreciated if you subscribe i thought i'd do a me in the flesh as you can see um i don't know i don't want to become a, a youtuber who doesn't do any um like any any you can't see their face or like i get too used to not showing my face and then you can't insult my face so you know i, I gave you all that privilege in this video if you made it to the end anyway yeah a subscribe would be um very much appreciated leave down in the comments below uh what your ideas for a fallout game would be where your location would be and uh, which of these locations i've provided is your favorite thank you guys ever so much for watching have a best rest of your day and week you can and i'll see you all next time peace